In this episode, I will be showing you how I am using multiple accounts in Roblox Pet Simulator X, but you can still choose any game of your choice. For this example, I am only going to be using two accounts to show you the method, but you can use as many accounts as possible. Make sure you watch the whole tutorial so you know how to not melt down your PC. So, let's begin. The first step would be that you just close every Roblox game if it's opened. And after that you just need to download this file. I know, I know, it's weird, but I will explain now everything why we need it. The reason for that is that Roblox has a special process in the background. And if we execute this file, it's going to close down the process. So Roblox can't know if you try to open an other Roblox account. Okay, let's get back now to the tutorial. If you downloaded the file, you just need to open it. Important, you need to have every Roblox account closed for the time. Also, it should never ask you for some administrator permissions. After you opened it, you just go to your browser and open Roblox. Everything seems fine. But now if we start another account, like this one, it will just pop up a second account. Not every PC can handle now 20 accounts. I would say, just go to the task manager and check how much process it takes by the one account. And then just multiply it by so much that you get to a 80% CPU wasting and GPU. You can check that very easy. Just go into the search bar, then type down task manager, and then you need to click on more details, and then you need to click on power. And here you see the CPU usage and GPU usage. I will show you now how you can save very easily all your accounts to start up instantly. Just go to Google Chrome and make a new Chrome account. Just go up here right and click on the plus. After that you just pick a name and make this on. It's saying shortcut to desktop create. But after this we are still not finished. We need to go to the Chrome and make right click and then click on the properties. After that you see something named target in your language, but it should look something like that. You just go to the end of the text and make a space and then put the URL of your Roblox game. Like we go now to Pet Simulator X and I take this link. Important, you need to make one space and then copy paste it or it will not work. After that you can just save it and double click on it and it should automatically get you to the Roblox game that you chose. The last trick is being used because you can just log in into your account and you won't get logged out in the other accounts. And this is it with the episode. If you want to see how many huge grim reapers or huge pumpkin cats I hatched using 9 accounts with full game passes, then you need to check out this video here. If this tutorial helped you out and you want to see more, I would appreciate a sub and a like.